In this video, I'm gonna be sharing the five cake decorating things that I no longer do. As some of you know, I've been decorating cakes since 2011 and I've been teaching cake decorating since 2012. And while there are a lot of things that I still do, there are quite a few things that I don't do anymore now that I'm further along in my cake decorating journey. And I'm gonna share them with you in this video. So let's get started. Number one, I no longer use solid white vegetable shorting in my American buttercream recipe. A few years ago, there were some changes in food manufacturing that eliminated the vast majority of trans fats in foods. And shortening was one of the ingredients affected by this change. You may come across a lot of American style buttercream recipes that call for shortening. There are two benefits to using shortening in a buttercream recipe. One benefit of using shortening in buttercream is color. When you use shortening as opposed to butter, your buttercream turns out a little bit brighter and whiter than it would typically if you were using an all butter recipe. The other advantage to using shortening and buttercream is that it allows for more working time as you're piping out your buttercream decorations. Because shortening melts at a higher temperature, it's not as affected by heat as butter. Now the benefit to using an all butter, American style buttercream recipe is that you really, really get that butter taste and you really get that creaminess to the American buttercream. Early on, the recipe that I started with called for all shortening. And after a while, I started doing half shortening and half butter. I always thought that American buttercream with all butter would be super unstable and difficult to work with. And it has not been that way at all. Now when I make my American style buttercream, I use only butter, no shortening. The second thing that I no longer do is use baking strips. I recently made a video explaining the science behind baking strips and it's linked in the description below. But early on, when I started baking, I did not use these strips at all. I happened to pick some up from the store on a whim and later tried it out and I was so impressed by the outcome. When I removed the cake from the pan, I remember it being this beautiful golden color, evenly baked. And the greatest thing is I didn't have the dome on the top of my cake, which I would need to level off later. So that saved me some time. I've also gotten really familiar with how my oven works. So I have a better sense of the amount of time needed to bake my cake. And it's caused me not to need to use the baking strips at all. Over the last few years, the amount of time needed to prepare the baking strips just got to be a little too much. They are really useful if you're just starting out and getting more familiar with baking. But as I've grown and learned to actually know my oven a little better, I no longer need to use baking strips. The, the third thing that I no longer do in cake decorating is writing with icing on a cake. I cannot tell you guys how I completely dislike doing this. I would say over the years with practicing and teaching people in person, I've gotten a lot better with this particular skill, but in terms of the look, it's just not for me. So I'm always looking for alternatives. I've punched letters out with fondant. I've taken gum paste and written directly onto it with edible marker. There are some really great alternatives to writing onto a cake with buttercream, and there's a video on my channel about it, and I've linked it in the description below. I do understand that as a beginner, this particular skill can be quite difficult to acquire. There are a lot of great lettering tools out there specifically for buttercream. So if this is something that you struggle with, I would definitely encourage you to check out whatever lettering tools are available in your local cake decorating or hobby store. The fourth cake decorating thing that I no longer do is icing a cake right side up. The first time I iced my cake upside down, I was completely blown away by the results. When I'm teaching an in-person class and we don't have access to refrigerators, I do still teach people the right side up method of layering and icing a cake smooth. However, when I have access to refrigerators, I always teach the upside down method. So I have a couple of videos on my channel explaining the upside down method of icing a cake. And I'll link the video in the description below. 
The fifth cake decorating thing that I no longer do is post every single cake to social media. One of the main reasons why I stopped doing this is pretty personal. As some of you may know, I was on season three of the Food Network's Holiday Wars. And though my team and I made some amazing cakes, after the show, for several months, I really doubted my abilities as a cake decorator, as a cake artist, and I really became anxious and self-conscious whenever I was making a cake. My feeling and thought was that the cakes that I made were not good enough. And with that, it really affected my self-esteem. And after a while, I came to the realization that I did not need to post every single cake that I made. I'm curious, now that you're a little bit further along in your cake decorating journey, what are some things that you don't do anymore? Go ahead and share it with us in the comments below. If you're here and you wanna learn more about cake decorating, check out my channel for tips, tutorials, and recipes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. And as always, thanks for watching.